This week on our channel we are upcycling an old desk. The Woodgerman team start by preparing the desk with Dixie Bell Boss and sanding the top. We realised that the desk had a drawer missing but this wasn't a problem as we replicated a dummy drawer ourselves with some spare wood. The drawers are now being covered with a layer of crackle gel. Once the gel is dry, a layer of La Magic paint cotton is applied over the top. It is important to use a light colour paint such as white as we are using a lot of decoupage paper on this particular project so it will encourage the colours to stand out. This creates small little cracks on the sides, top and drawer fronts. The team prepare the Posh Chalk Blue Ponder and Cottage Cart decoupage designs by using a bit of water to help tear the paper. The designated area is then covered with Posh Chalk Infuser to allow the decoupage to stick to the surface. Once the decoupage is applied to the surface, it is best to start brushing out the creases from the middle and working your way up to the edges. The Posh Chalk Infuser is being brushed over the whole Posh Chalk Long Walk decoupage design to seal it. The same process is then repeated for the Posh Chalk Ships in Vesper decoupage. The Posh Chalk Deluxe decoupage papers are available in A1 and A3 sizes. Solly uses the A3 size Ships in Vesper so we are able to divide the papers up to fit on the front and side of the desk. The paper proved to be a bit shorter than we expected so we added another strip of the design and blended well. The last of the decoupage designs to be applied is the Posh Script decoupage. This subtle design is split into three parts and placed over the top of the desk. And now it's time for the Woodger Bend. We have chosen the Woodger Bend moulding 1418 for this project. We started by heating the moulding until it goes bendy. Then we apply a good quality wood glue to the entire back of the surface. As the Woodger Bend mouldings are warm, they can bend around these surfaces. However, you must hold your Woodger Bend moulding in place until it cools down for it to retain the shape you are wanting. Once all the Woodger Bend mouldings are adhered to the surface, it's time to get out the paint. Solly has decided to go for a stone look. This is achieved by using the colour Vintage and Totarelle by La Magic. To add a pop of colour to the desk, Solly continues painting with sugar paper and souffle, both by La Magic. A simple wipe is used to help blend and tone down some of the colour. For the inside of the desk, Solly is using the Posh Chalk Kaleidoscope stencil. She mixes Materic Cream with Amore Violet and Souffle paint and blends out the edges to create this electric storm look. As our Would You Bend Trim TR718 has been heating up on the griddle, it is now ready to use. Before applying the trim, we cover the surface with tight bond quick and thick and press the Would You Bend trim into place. As the trim is still warm, this makes cutting it with a Stanley knife super easy. Now it's time to bring back the paints. The paint colours are replicated on the Woodger Bend trim to create the same stony effect. A bit of stippling works well as it produces an organic texture. Solly is now blending Sunset Blue, Nuit Parisienne and Souffle together to finish the back of the desk.
We really hope you enjoyed watching our upcycling process using Would You Bend and Poshchop products. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.